So ladies and gentlemen, if you remember what we talked about unit circle, so far our unit circle, the only points we know about, remember first of all, we know we have a radius of one. So we know that this point is one comma zero, zero comma one, negative one comma zero, and zero comma negative one, right? Correct, that's all we know so far, all right? But ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do for the remaining of this section is we're gonna actually be utilizing other points on the unit circle, all right? So we're actually gonna to wanna to evaluate for what the other points are, Lauren. We're actually gonna be evaluating for the other points on unit circle. So what are some you know, common, I guess we could say other common points? Well, one thing I can do is I'm gonna split if you kind of split each one of these quadrants in half, then what we do is we create points right here, right? Now, think about it, all right? Um, what is this angle that we're dealing with, all right? So if you kind of wanted to look at this as an angle, remember from here to here is pi, right? So you could say half of that would be pi halves. So from here to here is going to be pi over four. Very good. So you could say this angle is pi over four or you could say it's 45 degrees, right? Now, the next thing is, remember the radius we always said was one. Okay, I'll give you, I'll give you the next side. Um, actually, or if you just wanna, you guys can, they're right on my desk, if you guys wanna just go ahead and look over there and grab it. So we know the radius is one right now, right? That's really the only thing that uh, we know about this graph right now or to find this angle. So what we want to do is we want to find what are, what are the coordinate points for this point right here. The only thing we know is that this angle, as we rotate it from our initial side to here, what we're going to obtain is uh, an angle that's pi over 4 or 45 degrees. So what I can do is if I draw down and if I bring, if I bring down a perpendicular line to make a right angle, what I've now created is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. You guys remember, in your geometry class, if this is 45 degrees, then that has to be 45 degrees as you have a right triangle, right? 45, 45, 90, because if that's 45 and that's 90 degrees, that has to be 45, all right? So remember, we talked about our radius was one, all right? But remember, ladies and gentlemen, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find what is the distance for my x and my y, right? How far am I going over to get to this point, and how far am I going up? That's what I, I need to figure this out. So what we do is you notice this is a 45-45 triangle. So you're going to be an isosceles, meaning these two lengths are exactly the same. So rather than using x and y, I'm just going to use a and a. All right, just so I can represent the thing. So if I use Pythagorean theorem, you could say a squared plus a squared equals 1. Right? So then you could say 2a squared equals 1. Divide by 2. a squared equals 1 half. Square root, square root. a, a equals 1 over the square root of 2. Because the square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 2 is square root of 2. Now, you have to rationalize the denominator. a equals um, square root of 2 over 2. All right? So that means this distance of x is equal to the square root of 2 over 2, and this distance of y is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. So ladies and gentlemen, this point on the unit circle, when you create an angle, of pi over 4, or 45 degrees, is square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. That kind of makes some little sense, a little bit. You guys know these, right? These make sense. 0, because like, the radius is 1, right? Cross is there. It has to be at 1. That's at 1, negative 1, negative 1. But what about if it's in between there? Well, what I did was I created a 45, 45 triangle, because that's 45 degrees. And then what I did was I just used my Pythagorean theorem to figure it out. This is special triangles um, in your geometry class that you guys would have covered. Now, the important thing, though, is notice this. All these, these are all 
you can notice that these are all going to be reflections about each other, right? And the one thing I really harp with students, if there's anything that you guys are going to work on memorizing with your unit circle, is remembering what the first quadrant looks like. Because if you look at this point to this point, what is your reflection about? Your reflection is about the what axis? The y axis. And when you reflect about the y axis, your um, x value is now going to change sign. So for this coordinate point, it's just negative square root of 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. And then when you reflect, if you take this point and reflect it over the x and the y axis, both coordinate points now become negative. And then from here to here, you're only reflecting about the y-axis. So your y-coordinate is going to change. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you can see all of these angles. So here's pi over 4. Um, this angle would be 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. You can figure out, we just figured out all four of those angles by using 1. Anybody have any questions on what I did? No? Yes? Yeah, I mean, I'll go through that one more time. Let me just shut off this video real quick.